Hello to the kids and family as their first congregation of UCC. This is Lori here. We have been having a, a long weekend. Perhaps your parents have been home an extra day this weekend as they've celebrated. Have you gone out into a park or maybe gotten on a boat in the Mississippi or taken a sparkler out into your front yard and run around kind of enjoying this day with your family? At this time, we tend to remember the time when our country was formed. We remember it with symbols like the one behind me of an eagle that is majestic and swoops through the air with freedom. And sometimes we remember that we said that we wanted to be a country that provided freedom for all. And yet we didn't always accomplish this and do this. It reminds me of the passage that was read for the big folks today in the adult service. It was read a passage from a guy, he was a complicated guy, a guy who wrote stuff in the Bible that sometimes you think, oh, that's profound, and sometimes you're just frustrated with it. The guy's name was Paul. And he wrote and he said, sometimes the very thing I want to do is the thing I don't do. And the thing I hate is the very thing I do. It reminds me kind of of the history of what we're talking about this week as a country. There are things that we may think, oh, I don't want to be that. And yet we still do things that make our country that way. Or, oh, there's a thing that I want to do, but we just can't quite do it. And Paul, that guy that sometimes makes us frustrated and sometimes feels profound, he's like encouraging us to go for it, to try and be better, even though we may still fail. And so this week I made some exercises for you. If you're older, you get to do two different things. You get to draw a picture or write a poem about what this country is, and then contrast it with what we hope it would be. If you're younger, you get to focus on that thing that we hope it would be. What kind of place do we want to make lacrosse? What kind of place do we want to make our schools and our neighborhoods in this town? Is it a place where we want everyone to be able to have that freedom to pursue those things that make them have joy? So I encourage you to take that out, try it out, and look at it. If you have a chance, take a picture of either the poems or the pictures you created and send them to me. I hope to chat with you soon.